Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at a new product from Turtle Wax. It's the Hybrid Solutions Pro Graphene Infused Flex Wax. Over the last month, I've been using this product on my own BMW Z4. And in this review, we're going to be looking at what the application is like, how glossy it is, we're going to look at the water behaviour, and we're also going to be doing a real-world durability test. So I've had this product on my car for a whole month and we're going to see how it stands up to the challenging Scottish climate. Now, just one thing to say before we get started. Turtle Wax did send me this product for free. It's not my intention to give them any favourable opinion based on that, but you just need to be aware that that is the case. I didn't buy this with my own money. They did send me it. But I hope you'll see from this video that this is going to be my full, honest opinion on this product. Before I even apply the product, I washed the car with Car Pro Reset, rinsed it down, gave it a hand polish with Meguiar's Ultimate Compound, and then to remove any polishing oils, I gave the car a final wipe down with Car Pro Eraser. All right, guys. So we're going to give it two sprays on this panel. One, two. So let's do the rest of the car. Overall guys, this product went on really easily. It was just as easy to apply as any standard spray wax. Um, it had a nice kind of tropical mango scent, which was good to work with and better than I think some other graphene based products. One thing I will say though guys, is don't be like me, wear gloves when you apply this product because it really did dry my hands out and the next day when I woke up, my hands were as dry as anything. So this is not like a normal spray wax where you can get away without wearing gloves. You really need to wear gloves when you apply these graphene products. After giving the product 24 hours to cure, I subjected it to an initial hydrophobic test. You'll see that this is definitely a hydrophobic product although it does have a slight tendency to sheet water. I think this is partly due to some carrier being left over because as the water runs over the surface of the car, then this sheeting behavior quickly diminishes. It never goes away completely though, so this isn't quite an ultra hydrophobic product like Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Wax or Sea Quartz. It's very hydrophobic, but it's not the beadiest product on the market. It is, however, still hypnotizing to watch the beads run off the paint after this product has been applied.
14 days later, I gave the car its first wash since applying Flex Wax. I used Car Pro Reset to avoid degrading the wax. The wax is clearly still there, but I wasn't expecting the hydrophobics to change quite so much. Two weeks on, this product has become a bit more of a sheeter than a beater, which is something that many people will like, but others will absolutely hate. One thing I did notice when washing the car was that the paint felt extremely slick, so I think there's still plenty of protection on the paint. The product had also resisted dust marks and water spots better than many other products I've tried and I think that's because it tends to sheet water off the surface rather than allowing it to bead up. After drying the car off, it still looked absolutely amazing after two weeks. I know this is still a pretty new car and I polish it a lot, but I'm really happy with how Flex Wax makes my car look. Twenty-eight days after initial application, I washed the car once again to see how the hydrophobics were performing. You will see from this footage that the water behaviour has significantly degraded over the past 28 days. The surface of the car is still hydrophobic, but this product, at this point in time, now falls firmly into the sheeting category, and anyone who prioritises long-lasting feeding will be disappointed. It's not all bad though. The product is definitely still on the car as the paint felt extremely smooth as I was washing the car. And the car still looks extremely shiny. And overall, I have to say I'm very happy with how Turtle Wax Flex Wax makes my car look.
great advantages of Flex Wax though is that it's a spray product. So if you're not happy with how the wax is performing because some time has gone past since initial application, it is really easy to just top it up. So what I've done here is after washing the car and rinsing the soap off, without drying it first, I just applied some more Flex Wax as I was drying the car. So I sprayed two sprays per panel and then wiped it in and dried the car off. And you can see here that it has largely restored the initial beading properties. You can see that the car is, the paint is a bit of a sheeter at first, but as the water runs over it, that carrier gets washed away and the initial beading properties are restored. So that was my look at Turtle Wax Flex Wax. Overall, what do I think of it? Well, I mean, it went on easy. It went on easy. It was really nice to use, although you do really need to use gloves when you're applying it. Um, but it was great to use, really easy wax to use. Fine for a beginner to car waxes. Um, you know, you shouldn't be dissuaded by the fact that it's a graphene product. Very easy to use, no problem. Um, initial beading was fine. I have always liked beading, so I have always been into highly hydrophobic products. Based on the water behavior of this product, even on first application, this probably isn't one that would enter my top five favorite waxes of all time, purely based on that. Um, and that's partly because I live in a really wet country. So, you know, Part of the enjoyment I get of waxing my car is the fact that I can see the water beat up on the car when it's raining nine out of 10 days of the year. Um, and the fact that this isn't a highly hydrophobic product means that I don't get that. And quite often, as time goes on, you know, I end up just with big sheets and big pools of water, which is less what I'm into. But I have to say, I did think that I have no way of testing this. You know, I don't have any kind of um, photometers, so I can't tell you if this is makes your car look better or worse than competing products. But based on my personal assessment, I do think this makes your car look really good on first application. I was extremely happy with how it made my car look. So I think if you lived somewhere like California or Arizona or Spain, um, where you don't get much rain, and you're really probably therefore much more interested in how a wax makes your car look rather than water behavior, then I think this probably would be an absolutely top wax for you to try. For me, it's not one of my favorites. And I probably wouldn't buy it again. 
know that I bought it in the first place. Um, but based on the sample I got, I probably wouldn't buy it again. But that is purely because I don't think it's perfectly suited to the climate that I'm in or for what I am looking for in a wax. That's not to say I didn't like it. After I did this test, I thought, nah, I'm, you know, I wasn't really sure if I'd ever use it again. Um, but actually, the next time I washed my car, I did give it another go because I did enjoy using it. So it is a good product. I think it's going to be great for a lot of people. Even if you live in the south of England, you know, um, I think it would be good. Just somewhere where it's not raining constantly, I think you would like this product. If you're somewhere where it's raining all the time, it's possibly not the product for you. Um, although I have to say, I did notice that it was pretty resistant to water spots. I really do, because I've always gone <clears throat> for hydrophobic products, um, you know, I've always, and I live in a wet country, um, whenever it dries out, I do always get water spots on my paint. And I did notice that there were significantly fewer water spots left on the car when I used Flex Wax. Um, so actually, you know, if you do live in a wet country, maybe this product could appeal to you on that basis. Um, you know, if water spots drive you crazy, I think this is a good product for you. Um, and the one thing where I think this product is possibly a number one performer compared to the whole market is slickness. Now, I people talk about slickness. People talk about how much they like it. I don't particularly care about slickness. Um, you know, I use waxes largely because of how they make my car look. I want the car to look good and very few people are actually feeling the car, so I don't really care if it's slick, but some people care about it and it was very impressive how slick the car felt after I used Flex Wax. Maybe that carries over into some other properties that I'm not familiar with, but this was a highly slick product, which I thought was very cool if lacking in practical application. Um, so would I buy this product again? Possibly not, but I think if you're, I think I, this is the first graphene product I've used. And based on what I've seen from other YouTubers, um, it seems like the graphene market may have been a disappointment. You know, a lot of people, a lot of companies are coming out with graphene products and we were expecting it to be the next ceramic and it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. It seems like there's been a lot of disappointment in graphene products, but it also looks like the turtle wax lineup is probably one of the best, if not the best, graphene lineup out there. So if you're interested in checking out graphene, I would check the Turtle Wax graphene lineup because I think it is really good. And I think if you live in a dry country, then I think you will love this product. But if you live in Scotland, I would get something else. But these are all assessments based on using this product in complete isolation. We haven't done a properly objective test yet on Flex Wax. So keep an eye out for a future video where I'm going to be comparing Flex Wax against some of its main competitors. Um, leave a comment down below to let me know what you want me to test it against. I will definitely be including um, Meguiar's Hybrid Ceramic Spray Wax in that test because I think that's probably a key competitor. But I haven't decided what the third or and possibly fourth spot. I'm probably going to do three a three-way test, but I could stretch it out to four. Um, and I'm not going to be doing this on the Z4. I'm going to be doing it on my dad's new to him Kia, which is a 2012 plate. So people always complain that I test products on shiny brand new cars. And I test it up on my dad's new, new to him, old, my dad's old Kia. Um, and we'll see how it looks on kind of more worn out paint. Um, so let me know what you want me to test Flex Wax against in the comments, guys and keep an eye out for the next video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the test, all right? Peace.